Hello people, welcome back. This two marks question is from gate 2003 exam. Let us first read the statement, then I am going to explain the solution. Host A is sending data to host B over a full duplex link. A and B are using the sliding window protocol for flow control. The send and receive window sizes are 5 packets each. Data packets sent only from A to B are all 100, sorry, 1000 bytes long and the transmission time for such a packet is 50 microseconds. Acknowledgement packets sent only from B to A are very small and require negligible transmission time. The propagation delay over the link is 200 microseconds. What is the maximum achievable throughput in this communication? Okay, so we need to determine maximum throughput. Throughput is efficiency into bandwidth. Throughput actually means how efficiently are we using the available bandwidth. For that, we first need to determine the value of efficiency. Okay, so let us find what is the efficiency if these things are given in the question. They are saying sliding window protocol is used, but we don't know is it selective repeat or is it go back in. Okay. That can be determined from here. When both sender window and receiver window sizes are equal, it is always selective repeat. So here we are using selective repeat. In selective repeat, the formula for efficiency is n upon 1 plus 2a. n is given as 5. Okay, so it is 5 upon 1 plus 2a. Look, in TT plus 2TP, in this much time, for 100% efficiency, we could send these many packets, 1 plus 2A packets. But we are actually sending only 5 packets. Okay, so this is the number of packets that we are actually sending. And this is the maximum number of packets that we could possibly send. Okay. Now, let us find what is A. A is TP divided by TT. Propagation time is 200 microseconds and transmission time is given as 50 microseconds. So it is 200 divided by 50. So this is 5 fours are and 4 into 2 is 8. So this comes out to be 5 upon 1 plus 8, which is equal to 5 upon 9. Okay. So efficiency is 5 upon 9. Now we also need the bandwidth. So I guess bandwidth was also not given. Yeah, bandwidth is also not given. For that we can use transmission time. Okay, transmission times formula is L by B, length of the packet divided by the bandwidth. Length of packet is 1000 bytes. Okay, this packet requires this much transmission time. So let us substitute the values. Transmission time is 50 microseconds. And length of the packet is 1000 bytes. So bandwidth will be 1000 bytes divided by 50 microseconds. So this is 20 bytes per microsecond. 20 bytes of data is sent in one microsecond. Okay, so now we just need to find the throughput that is efficiency into bandwidth. So multiply 5 by 9 with 20 bytes per microsecond. This comes out to be 100 by 9. So 100 by 9 will be 11 point something. Let me just calculate it. 11 point maybe 100 divided by 9. 
yeah it is 11.1111 okay so this is equal to 11.11 bytes per microsecond okay so let us see which option is correct so in options the unit is bytes per second but here we have calculated in bytes per microsecond so this needs to be converted one microsecond see one microsecond is equal to 10 raised to the power minus six second in one microsecond we are sending 11.11 bytes that means in 10 raised to the power minus 6 seconds also we are sending these many bytes only because both of these units are same okay so i can write it as 11.11 bytes are sent in 10 raised to the power minus 6 seconds So just multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 raised to the power minus 6. Sorry, 10 raised to the power plus 6. We are going to get 11 into 10 raised to the power 6 bytes are sent per second. Okay. So answer is 11.1111 into 10 raised to the power 6 BPS. Okay.